We're not quite there just yet, but shit's getting real right now. My current rating right now sits at 756. It's not the highest I've been. If you take a look over to the right side of the screen, 781 is the highest I've ever been. And that's where I was in the last game I played. I wasn't recording, but if I won, I would have made it to championship series. The first time I would have ever done that in my history of MLB The Show. But I lost the game, of course, because we went in extras and I wasn't able to score. So I think I lost three to four. Whatever though, even though it's eating my skin alive like I, I'm still pissed off about it and I only played the game like two days ago but today in this game we have some vengeance to make revenge to all the opponents I am gonna work my ass off to make it to championship series and then once we get there we will discuss the next option the next division that we would try to be in but we got to get to that little gold one right there championship series first the lineup is same as usual same as it was in the last game this team has been tearing the cover off the ball the pitching is also been amazing we just kind of got bad luck last time we're gonna be having mark Pryor on the hill with this lineup so hopefully we can tear to cover off the ball and also just shut the opponent down with great pitching i'm actually really nervous i got that like shit feeling in my stomach like where i have to go take a shit real quick because like I'm, I'm nervous for the competition we're gonna ignore that though we're gonna go ahead and head into a game and get a win that is all we're gonna get just one win today maybe two if the guy quits right away i mean i would be fine with that actually enough talk let's go ahead and get in this shit i'm gonna adjust my ass up real quick and then we're gonna get into it son of a tit look at this lineup it's actually pretty damn good we are the away team it looks like we're at a created stadium too we are at a created stadium there's a little volcano over there was this guy's team named the slaves i didn't see it but that's kind of fucked up he wants to friendly quit and quite frankly i might just accept it i'm not feeling that lineup but who knows this next lineup's probably gonna be amazing we probably should have actually just played the full game i don't know yep we should have played the other guy this guy's team's way better and we're playing at this fucking stadium yeah we made a mistake by accepting that other friendly quit and he's got a better record too you know what i might just actually request the friendly quit this time let's see if he accepts he does not all right fuck well we're gonna have to face him this is my first time facing by the blue and that's honestly kind of scary Duke, maybe no that's gonna be a little ground out we got ourselves in a shitty situation i already feel it i should have probably played br today instead of ranked seasons Lou Gehrig the other way, that's gonna fall a base hit. Lou Gehrig can tear up these lefties for no type of reason. All right, Hogan, you're facing Vita Blue. This is the first time we've all faced Vita Blue, so don't swing at that shit and then try to focus up on these pitches. Hogan, center field. Oh, that shit's actually gonna leave, I think, unless Trout tries to rob it. And no, it's gone. Bill Hogan, home run. All right, there we go. That's the type of shit we need from big ass Bill Hogan. Give everyone high fives. Honestly, when he hit that off the bat, I thought he just flew out the center field. Fuck, Dante, that was awful. All right, Mark, the last time you pitched, you only gave up one hit. It was one damn hell of a good performance. We're gonna need another gym here for today, because at this stadium, I mean, the ball starts flying. Knock on some wood. I don't want that to happen. All right, ground out to Bill Hogan. We got the first two down. Just get one more. It'll give me a little bit more confidence if we can shut him out in the first inning. Too bad we gotta face big-ass David Ortiz. He's digging in that box, man. He don't give a fuck who's on the mound. All right, don't walk him here for Mike Trout, but don't give him a meatball down the middle either. I'd rather walk him than do that. Mike Trout is clearly his best player. He's got the best stats so far. He's got a 343 average, so be careful. Don't throw that there. Oh, shit. Fuck! Welp, in the first two innings, we have given up two run bombs. I think we're in for one hell of a game here today. Both of the four hole hitters on our teams have went yard. Don't throw that there. Don't let him go yard again. God, I'm looking! Okay, that was a tight ass pitch. That could have been a ball or a strike either way. My ass is already hurting from just sitting in this chair. I've only been sitting in it for 15 minutes. Joe Torre, base hit. Anyways, so the reason my ass is sore is because I went to the gym yesterday and worked out legs for like two hours. According to my Apple Watch, I burnt like a thousand calories. I mean, shit, I was going after it. Hold on, do we want to take Winker out for Hank Aaron? We'll put Hank Aaron in the game. He can hit lefties better. Anyways, I was getting after it in the gym, and now my legs are sore than some titties that were hit by a Walter Johnson fastball. No, he did not go. Do not ring him up. Fuck you. Run, Joe, run. The ball gets by him. 
All right, that kind of takes, oh shit, how did you nearly get thrown out? Oh, that was such a close pitch, good take. Josh, fuck! All right, Mark, I mean, if you get a base hit somehow in the gap, I will suck your penis. Oh, no, hold on, I will not do that. But try your best. I mean, we, we might give you like a candy bar or something. Oh, shit! Look at Mark Pryor! Oh, damn it. He gave it a damn good effort, though. He poked it nearly to the warning track. All right, ground ball to Hogan. He's got speed, but Hogan's got a cannon. I have never felt more shit at the rim of my anus than right now. Nobody's getting on bases anymore. We're getting everybody out. Go catch it, Hank. Okay, at least body it up. I lied. Someone's getting on base, but that's all that's going to happen. All right, Hank, go catch it, and then we got the pitcher up, and then, well, I mean, that should be an easy out, I hope. You always hope the pitcher's the easy out, but sometimes he's the one who absolutely smokes the ball. Nope, he made contact, unless Josh fucks it up, though. My commentary right now is not the cleanest. I mean, when you just have the nervous anxiety of playing this game, it's not the best sometimes. All right, Duke, buddy, you're gonna have to get some motivation here. I know you're always motivated by ice cream, but the past couple of days, you haven't been getting a lot of base hits. There's a base hit, there's some ice cream. Oh shit, Marcus, why'd you do that? Double plays are not fun. We do not like double plays, do we, Lou? Skip, skip, skip to my Lou. All right, Lou Gehrig works the walk for big ass Bill Hogan. He's on a tear right now, he is hot. Hogan is on a motherfucking tear. That ball is torched to center field. Off of the scoreboard. It's not a scoreboard, but it's a board, and Hogan hit it off of it. Get on Hogan's back, and he will carry you. He can also squat 785 pounds, too, for three reps. So, I mean, he's pretty strong. Fuck, Dante, that's your second strikeout on an honestly pretty nasty pitch. But damn it, Bill Hogan threw his bat a mile in the air after he hit it a mile in the air. I am hyping myself up. My heart rate's probably 140 beats per minute. All right, go catch it, Dante. Do not... You better catch it. Get to the fucking ball. Ooh, look at that little backdoor slurve. Got him swinging! Oh my, okay, let's get David Ortiz out this time. Last time he was up, he worked the walk. No, we're not letting him on base once again. That might get him on base. Let's, oh shit. Thought Simeon was gonna make a pretty nice play. Work around Trout here or hang the slurve. So I was about to say, all the runs have been scored by the four hole hitters. Bill Hogan had the four RBIs on our team and Trout has the two on his team. Joe Torre has yet to hit a home run and he only has two RBIs and batting 192. I believe he can get it going though, that's why he's still in the lineup. He can get it going, there's a little another base hit. I know Joe Torre, I know how this man can hit. Oh no, Hank. You better haul ass get the first. Safe! Alright, he did not ground into a double play, so, I mean, it's still kind of disappointing he didn't do anything other than that. Get out of play. Do not let that son of a bitch catch it. Mark, just get a base hit. Get your first one and have it come in clutch here. You have them brand new Adidas batting gloves on for a reason. You're trying to hit with them. Okay, you struck out. Just go out there and pitch a good ball game then if you're not going to get a hit. All right, fly out to center field for Duke Snyder. He's got ice cream all over his face. He devoured the shit out of that ice cream cone he ate from his one base hit. He's leaning it off next inning, so he knows what the taste of ice cream is right now, and he's gonna have motivation to get some more. All right, Simeon, field it. All right, Josh, fire that thing in there. Let's go hit. Ah, ice cream. Duke's being extra patient. He's taking some really close pitches, but he's waiting for the right one. If you work the walk, I will count that for one total ice cream. Damn it, Duke! All right, you're not getting an ice cream. Marcus, you need to pull your head out of your ass and get a base hit. He's been struggling, but he hits that one the other way. That one might actually leave. Or it's gonna get caught on the warning track. Oh, it's gonna be off the wall. That might be three. All right, we got a runner on third with one out. We better drive his ass in. You got Lou Gehrig and Bill Hogan do up. If we can't score that run, we got a problem. We score the run, because that's a base hit up the middle for Lou Gehrig. We've seen what this man has done today. Hogan is locked in. He's locked in! That one's shit on! Oh, it's gonna be a flyout. He only hit it 590 feet in the air. I mean, if it traveled a little bit more, that would have been his third home run. Dante's not locked in. He's got two strikeouts. I don't even think he's made contact with the ball to at least foul one off. Good job, Dante. You got three strikeouts. All right, that should be a play for Simeon. Don't let it fall. Good job. He might be taking out Vita Blue here, because Vita Blue's given up five runs, so there's a good chance he'll be going to the bullpen. All right. 
Aaron, that should be a play. Good job. Do you guys also feel nervous just watching this damn video? Here I am playing and I'm about to shit my brains out. This is some scary stuff. It's so scary it just makes you want to grab a blanket and then like also grab a flashlight. It's like you're out in the woods by yourself. You're just, you just don't know what to do. You don't know how to handle the pressure. Mark Pryor does know. Strike him out. Alright, he's putting in Lee Smith, but that is no problem for this offense. We can hit any damn pitcher in the planet. Joe Torre is finding his mojo. He's got two singles and he's looking to add it on some more. He needs to really get that batting average up. It's bad right now. Oh, damn it, Tori. That was a good pitch to crush. All right, Josh. I mean, you're 0 for 2 today. Uh, there's a high chance. There's a very high chance you might go 0 for 3, but there's also a little chance you might go 1 for 3. You know, Mason, any means possible. There you go, shit. This two, three, and four in this lineup is the only like hitters that actually scare me. Every other one I have confidence facing, but Jones, Ortiz, and then Trout, that's a scary duo. Mark's gonna strike out Jones to start the inning though. All right, Lou, all right, second out, there we go. Skip, skip, skip to my Lou. All right, Aaron, you got better speed than Jesse. I'm glad you're out there. My stomach is cramping. I'm in pain right now. I'm not lying. I'm not just trying to make a story up by saying I'm about to shit my pants. Fucking ass. Fucking ass. Come on, Duke. I know you want this ice cream. You're going to have to earn it. That's not earning it, you shit stir. What? I'm going to call him a shit stain, but I also wanted to call him a shit turd, so I called him a shit stir. Marcus, you're awful. All right, we got him popped up, Joe. Go catch it. Every pitch is just making me a nervous wreck. Got him swinging. Mark motherfucking Pryor. Josh, fuck. That's all right. One base runner isn't no big deal. Just get the next one, Mark. You got silver defense. You should be able to field it. Nice play. Let's add some insurance runs because I don't feel comfortable right now. That's a lie. I do feel comfortable, but like, I'd rather be up 10 to 2 and just to feel a little bit safer. All right, he's putting in Zach Britton. Zach Britton's nasty. I don't like this card. Lou Gehrig's 2 for 2 with a walk, and he's faced a lefty all day, so he's already locked in on these lefties. He wasn't quite as locked in, but he tried to go the other way with it. The hottest hitter on the planet has stepped in the box. Not only is he the hottest hitter, he's also super pissed off. He's hit two home runs today, but he's still mad. I don't know why. There's only one way he can legally take out this aggression. Oh, it was to smash some baseballs, but he missed that fastball. Zach Britton better watch himself after this game, because he might get his face smashed in by Bill Hogan. All right, Dante, you can turn this dog shit game around. I mean, if you just get a base hit, you have three strikeouts. That's horrible. Oh, you got struck out four times, you piece of dog shit. Well, he has Wander Franco in the box, so we're gonna be a little bit careful. But Mark Pryor is a good pitcher, and he doesn't care who's in the box. All right, got him to ground out to Lou Gehrig. All right, ground him out. Mark, throw his sorry ass out. Chipper Jones is just tally whacked one to the other side, but Hank Aaron might rob it. He robs it. Oh shit! Hammer and Hank Aaron whipped out his hammer and caught the baseball with it. That man has an elephant trunk for a penis. Fuck you, Chipper Jones, says Hank Aaron. We could not have played that play more perfectly. Oh my! Nothing but intensity so far in this ball game. Joe Torrey. First home run on his career in MLB The Show. 21 to be exact. He's got a lot of home runs in last year's game, but he got his first one for this year. Now Hank Aaron might be due for his first two. He doesn't even have an RBI yet. Hank, we might just put you back in the starting lineup after that. You have, all right, there's your first hit. I was about to say you haven't gotten a hit today, but what you just did was clutch. Josh, we might have to find a new third baseman. Your little tiny ass PCI just can't keep up with these pitchers that are getting way better. Also, when we're on Hall of Fame difficulty, it's harder to hit with you. They want me to go to the bench, but I think it'd be a disservice to not keep Mark Pryor in this game for the way he's been pitching. All right, he's struck out, but we head to the ninth and we're facing the heart of his order, so be careful. All right, first pitch he sees, he crushes with David Ortiz. Which, to be fair, should have been crushed because that was not a good pitch. The one-two to Trout. Got him to ground out to Hogan. Throw it! Throw it, Hogan, turn two. We might not get two, but we got one. All right. 
Right here should be the ball game. If we make a good throw, we got him. How about that game right there? Bill Hogan with two monstrous home runs and then one hell of a pitching performance from Mark Pryor. Both of them two deserve player of the game. They played their asses off. Bill Hogan is happy for the first time in his life as he is crowned player of the game. Mark Pryor went nine innings with five, only five strikeouts. Seems like there was more than that, but Mark Pryor, he's, he's not happy. Vida's happy because he lost. All right, guys, now we were back to where we were. Now we are one win away from championship series. That's what the next video is most likely going to be like. Might be about the fourth inning program too because that's coming out soon, but I don't know. We'll just have to see. That is going to be all for today. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you all later.